open reduction and internal fixation of displaced scaphoid fractures via dorsal approach. Kamal Gokuz. Associates Professor Baskent University Alanya Research and Practice Center. Acknowledgement. This video was produced from the book source that was shown below. We would like to thank editors, Berit Smee, Rosen Warser MP, Adams B and Co's in SH. Citation. Berit Smee, Rosen Warser MP, Adams B and Co's in SH. 2006. Wrist Surgery. HTTPS colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot one thousand six hundred and four nine trillion seven hundred and eighty three billion one hundred and thirty one million three hundred and ninety thousand one hundred and ten indications acute unstable fractures displacement greater than one millimeter lateral intrascaphoid angulation greater than thirty five degrees Significant bone loss. Significant comminution. Concomitant ligamentous injuries. Fractures not amenable to closed reduction and cast treatment. Relative indications. Delayed union, 4 to 6 months. Non-union. Early return to sport slash occupation. Technique. 4 cm longitudinal incision on the ulnar border of Lister's tubercle through the third compartment, see figure, identify extensor pollicis longus, EPL. Open overlying extensor retinaculum and elevate subperiosteally. Retract radial wrist extensors ulnarly, EPL radially. Expose dorsal wrist capsule and incise longitudinally, providing adequate exposure while preserving dorsal intercarpal ligament, figure. Reduce fragments using joystick K wires and assess alignment with mini image intensifier. Technique. 4 cm longitudinal incision, on the ulnar border of Lister's tubercle through the third compartment, see figure, identify extensor pollicis longus, EPL. Open overlying extensor retinaculum and elevate subperiosteally. Retract radial wrist extensors ulnarly, EPL radially. Expose dorsal wrist capsule and incise longitudinally, providing adequate exposure while preserving dorsal intercarpal ligament, figure. Reduce fragments using joystick K wires and assess alignment with mini image intensifier. Technique. 4 cm longitudinal incision, on the ulnar border of Lister's tubercle through the third compartment, see figure, identify extensor pollicis longus, EPL. Open overlying extensor retinaculum and elevate subperiosteally. Retract radial wrist extensors ulnarly, EPL radially. Expose dorsal wrist capsule and incise longitudinally, providing adequate exposure while preserving dorsal intercarpal ligament, figure. Reduce fragments using joystick K wires and assess alignment with mini image intensifier. Technique. 4 cm longitudinal incision, on the ulnar border of Lister's tubercle through the third compartment, see figure, identify extensor pollicis longus, EPL. Open overlying extensor retinaculum and elevate subperiosteally. Retract radial wrist extensors ulnarly, EPL radially. Expose dorsal wrist capsule and incise longitudinally, providing adequate exposure while preserving dorsal intercarpal ligament, figure. Reduce fragments using joystick K wires and assess alignment with mini image intensifier. Technique. Place stable fixation with cannulated headless screw from proximal to distal over guide wire, figure. May use additional percutaneous K wires for more rotational control. Close capsule without imbrication. Vola thumb gauntlet splint. Technique. Place stable fixation with cannulated headless screw from proximal to distal over guide wire, figure. May use additional percutaneous K wires for more rotational control. Close capsule without imbrication. Vola thumb gauntlet splint. Postoperative care. Remove sutures at 7 to 10 days. Continue splinting with custom orthoplast, Johnson & Johnson, 
New Brunswick, New Jersey. Plain films every two weeks to assess healing, scaphoid view at six to eight weeks to assess union. If union uncertain, order CT scan, sagittal views in plane of scaphoid, 45 degrees to long axis. Pearl and pitfalls. Pearl. Preserve the dorsal intercarpal ligament. Close the capsule without imbrication. Pitfall. Use multiple views with fluoroscopy to ensure that the guide wire is positioned in the central third of the long axis of the scaphoid. Suggested readings. 1. McAllister WV, Knight J, Colliopon R, Trumbull Tay. Central placement of the screw in simulated fractures of the scaphoid waste, a biomechanical study. JBJs? America. 2003 semicolon 85A colon 72 to 77. 2. Retig me, Cosnal SH, Cooney WP. Open reduction and internal fixation of acute displaced scaphoid waste fractures. Journal of Hand Surgery, America. 2001 semicolon 26A colon 271 to 276. Acknowledgement. This video was produced from the book source that was shown below. We would like to thank editors, Berit Smee, Rosen Warser MP, Adams B and Cozin SH. Citation. Berit Smee, Rosen Warser MP, Adams B and Cozin SH. 2006. Wrist Surgery. HTTPS colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot one thousand six hundred and four nine trillion seven hundred and eighty three billion one hundred and thirty one million three hundred and ninety thousand one hundred and ten. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.